Hey, what's going on everyone? Today is the last day of October 2021. I wanted to come in and give y'all an updated price prediction into the market in Ren Crypto. This is going to be our latest price prediction. We want to see if the market in Ren is going to go down a little bit. We want to see the price is going to crash and we're going to try to determine that by simply looking at the price bars and the volume. We can actually gauge what is the sentiment of the market so that we can be prepared for the next move. So if the market is going to crash during the month of November, I mean, we want to be prepared for it, right? You want someone to give you the heads up to say, yeah, the market looks kind of weak. I'm expecting it to dip somewhat. Well, we're going to give you all that today. This is the realest spot that you guys are going to get a price prediction from. So keep it locked in here. Hit the like button. Share it and also subscribe to the channel. We don't need anything else outside of price. That is the only thing that matters. What you and I are willing to buy and sell these instruments for. So let's talk about Ren because our last video we did for Ren, we didn't do a price prediction. We wanted the market to continue to give us a little bit more information so we can kind of see, okay, what is everyone really thinking about Ren right now? Are they feeling bullish? Are they feeling bearish at that present time? We didn't see anything. So now we're back. We got a little bit more days because the video we did was on October the 15th of us during our last Ren video. And pretty much nothing has really happened from October the 15th. Nothing. I mean, you guys can see it from right here. The market in Ren had just pretty much traded sideways, right? So not a lot has gone on into the market in Ren since then. So let's see. We got a little bit more information. Maybe we can get an idea as to whether the market is feeling strong or maybe it's feeling weak. Because currently you can see that we are about to test a very important ascending trend in the market in Ren. I'm going to show it to you. Let me extend this out further, okay? Because this trend is going to be important as to determining whether or not the market is going to dip lower or we're going to continue to trend higher in price. We are literally there now. So we got to stay focused. We got to keep our eyes open on where price, on how it trades right here alongside this ascending line. We have to. So let's see what's going on into the market in Ren on a three day time frame. So this is the three day time frame into the market in Ren and the last two, three day price bars, we've seen weakness. I have to give you the realest information. The last six days of trade in Ren, we've had opportunity to where price did go up. We give that much credit to the market, but we close at the low end of the bar, which means that the market is still weak, that there's still sellers here in Ren. So we still got to take notice that the price can dip, that the price is increasing its ability to break this ascending line. Now, are you ready for that? Because once the market in Ren breaks this ascending line, guess what? We're going to continue to see the price dip and maybe even crash during November. Yes, I'm here to give you. I know you all don't want to hear that. I know that goes against what everyone else is saying, but this is what the chart really is showing us. And we got to keep it real. Charts don't lie. Prices do not lie. And given what we did the last six days in Ren, it's still showing us that the market is weak. And that's on top of this, right? This is also inclusive of what happened when the market in Ren was trading at a dollar and 30 cents on these two three day price bars. We still saw the rejection. So when you combine both those together, that gives us even more credibility that the market in Ren currently is weak. All right. So let's see this here on a weekly time frame since this is the last day of the week and you guys can see it right here. We haven't gone anywhere in Ren over the last three weeks, right? We've seen the price in Ren try to come up and break a dollar twenty three weeks in a row and each week we wasn't successful. So now it's kind of reflecting that the market is getting tired. Like it's it's been three weeks and we've been wanting to break the price above a dollar twenty and it hasn't even done it. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good. Mm -mm, that's not good at all. We need to see the price in rent break above a dollar twenty. And over the last three weeks, it hasn't even done it. So that also means that the chances of rent going down is greater. Let's see what's going on on the monthly time frame. Since it's the last day of the month, you guys can see two consecutive months, September and October, the market in Ren has closed off of the highs. That simply means that there were more selling going on throughout the month of September and throughout the month of October. The interest, the demand, it wasn't there because if it were, the price would have ended up closing at the high of the bar and it did not do it on both months. We're getting tired. The market is, is not really propping up the price in Ren above $1.10 and even $1.20. 
everyone pay attention to the price it is the most important thing that we all have that gives us a heads up as to where price is going to go so right now on every time frame that we looked at so far it's still confirming that ren is giving us some weakness so let's look at this on the two-day time frame even here so now you might be saying okay hfn all right hefin you're looking at the market going down well we are we're playing in weakness on this prediction into the market and ren how low do you think the price can go well it's not that far we can really see the market dip like another 10 cents and we can see the price prop up and start to go up higher from there but that would take us below our ascending line which means that i won't be looking for the price to continue to trend upward i won't be looking for that especially if we break this ascending line so as i do this price prediction keep that in mind so let me go ahead and show you all what my expectations are into the market in rent because currently I'm looking for the market to dip. I'm looking for the price in rent to go down. Now I'm looking for 90 cents to be an area of support. I can see the market propping up price there and then trying to reclaim its price back up above that ascending line. So as this market in rent cracks this ascending line to the downside and I get support here around 90 cents, that's cool. I need to take the bag. I need to take the bread right there around 90 cents right before the market goes up and tries to trade back up above that ascending line that's one play okay second play is for us to continually break this ascending line break 90 cents as support and then the market tries to hold support around 80 cents right trade a little bit for side trade sideways for a couple of days and then the market dips again that's the second outlook now the second outlook is worse we want to see the market pan out the first outlook that I talked about where the market would come down and grab 90 cents and go up. That's what we want to see, but there's no guarantee, especially when we look at the, on the monthly time frame and the weekly time frame in Ren. So let's run the play. I'm going to dip it all the way down to 80 cents, right? That's my second area that I will come in and grab the bag from the market because I don't want to be greedy. I don't want to say that the price is going to crash all the way down to 60 cents, even though it can, but I'm not necessarily seeing that so far on the time frames. So my TP prices will be around 90 cents first, and then the second area is going to be around 80. And that is as long as the price in Ren does not break above $1.20. You guys remember I mentioned that earlier, that if the price in Ren cannot break above $1.20, we already know that we're going to continue trend lower in price. I mean, it's been three consecutive weeks that the market had the opportunity to do it and it didn't do it so we're going to play the weakness here into the market and rent now i want to know you're a part of my team right i want to give you all the opportunity to call the markets right alongside with me right you can do it just give me your price prediction tell me where do you think the market is going to go in rent over the next three weeks during the month of November, where are we headed? Because we need to make sure we give our people the heads up as to where price is going to go. This is my prediction. Now it's your turn. You can drop me a comment right now after watching this video and tell me what are you seeing on the charts. Let me know what is your expectations over the next three weeks. And that's it. Make sure you maintain a profitability. And as always, trade different.